Hello everyone, this is Jessica from Black Travelers Network and I am coming to you today with this story that is out of Cape Town. Uh, the story is on uh, the BBC's website and it's dealing with the Cape Town water crisis. And this story uh, was first discussed on January 18th and it's a story that we're following and will continue to follow and we encourage you to follow this story as well. Obviously, we have a vested interest in what's happening in Cape Town because one of our most popular trips goes to South Africa every year, sometimes twice a year. And one of the destinations that we travel to is Cape Town. It's a very beautiful city. It attracts tourists from all over the world. I think last year Cape Town reported an average of about two million visitors who came to the city to vacation and tour and just really enjoy uh, the beauty and the people and the culture that is in Cape Town. And so Unfortunately, right now what's happening is the city is going through a water crisis. The mayor of Cape Town, her name is Patricia DeLille, she said that Cape Town, which is a popular tourist destination, has been hit with its worst drought in a century. The drought in Cape Town has lasted roughly about three years, which is, is really... <laughs> Uh, unheard of I mean a lot of people think Africa and think it doesn't rain and that's absolutely not true the continent itself oftentimes uh, different parts at different times will can and will experience what they call the rainy season and if you can imagine it has not rained a significant amount in the last three years for the reservoirs to be full enough to continue to withstand uh, the usage of the city of Cape Town. And so it says, Ms. DeLeo warned that the city reach, that the city risk reaching what they call day zero on April 21st, when taps in homes run, could run dry. And so they're saying that they can no longer ask people to stop wasting water. They're at a point now where they must force people to stop wasting water and they've actually been in uh, they've actually been urging Cape Tonians for months uh, and 60% of the Cape Tonians they project are callously using more than 22 gallons per day which is referring to them being over the daily limit and you have a lot of you know people who live in Cape Town who are, are really worried about this water crisis and there's, there's great concern about not having enough water or having to be put on restrictions, with their, which they're already on restrictions, but the real concern comes when the citizens are not able to go about their daily lives and use the water as they see fit and as they need. And so it's a really big problem. I want you to take a quick listen to what some of the Cape Tonians, the citizens who live in Cape Town are saying about the water crisis. We definitely have to do our part and use as, less, as, as little water as possible. Um, but I do hope that the government is doing something to prevent day zero because it will be a national crisis. It will be honestly horrific. So this is a really unfortunate situation that's existing right now in Cape Town. Uh, a person on average uses about four gallons per minute of water for a typical shower and that's the same amount that's actually used when flushing a standard toilet. And this is according to the WaterWise South African Usage 
um, organization. They're, they d they deal primarily with education around water and water consumption, and um, they actually have a, a water usage awareness campaign going on, especially right now at this time and day zero is predicted to be the day when non-essential supplies of water will be cut off and that date is as i said earlier projected to be april 21st but it's actually been revised the original date was april 29th which was earlier this month that they were saying it was April 29th and unfortunately because they they say that citizens are using the water callously it has had a dramatic effect on the capacity of the dams and so there on April 21st they project that the dams will reach 13.5% capacity and that is a significant amount of water that will be reduced from what's currently a 28% capacity. And so 70% of Cape Town's water use, it actually comes from domestic homes. And so they put in a number of advisories and I feel it's important for us as Americans to pay attention to this because we never know if in some areas of our you know country if maybe at some point in the future we may be compromised in terms of our water usage i know folks in california over the years have had moments where the drought was so intense that they've been sort of like placed on water restrictions by the state um, but for cape town what they're advising people to do is they want people to fix water leaks on their property. They're asking people to use drinking water only for drinking, cooking, and essential washing. They're also saying to only flush the toilet when absolutely necessary and cut your showers down to two minutes, no more than two minutes per, per citizen. And they're also advising that the water from the shower that citizens, they want their citizens to collect the shower water and bath and, and basin water and reuse that water to flush the toilet, wash the garden, water their gardens and wash their cars. And they only want washing machines and dishwashers running when it's fully loaded. I mean, that's a very extensive list of restrictions that they're placing on Cape Tonians and you know it's one of those things that they can't police everyone all they can say is this is what we advise everyone to do and it's up to the citizens to actually do that now we know that most people aren't going to follow those guidelines which is why they're in the situation where they're saying they have to force people and so uh, you know, earlier Cape Town actually even went so far as to banning car washing and also ban the banning of uh, filling up of swimming pools as one of the efforts to conserve the water. But these measures simply have not been enough and are not enough and the crisis has reached a new severity which is requiring them to take serious and new emergency measures. They even have uh, certain locations where citizens can go um, and they have armed guards there at these particular water locations where citizens are allowed to get a, a certain amount of water filled up in, in jugs and take it back home as a way of making sure uh, that folks are, are, are using the proper amount of water and not over consuming. So this is it's something that we have to pay attention to. As many of you know, we are going to South Africa later on in the year. Um, Cape Town is, as I said before, one of our favorite destinations to take people because it's just absolutely beautiful. And people tend to have an amazing time 
relax get some beautiful pictures and memories that last a lifetime and so I enjoy going and visiting regularly and often and I know our travelers do too and and I know there are many of you out there in the community who have identified Cape Town as being on your bucket list and one of those places you want to go to and I and and it's been my experience that most people who go once will go again but as a result of the water crisis we are paying attention to to the situation and we are also um, modifying our trip that's coming a little bit so that people can see South Africa and get a little bit of, of Cape Town but as you can imagine this is having a direct impact on travel to Cape Town uh, it's one of those situations that I can say that the South African government I know is is probably really worried because Cape Town is the destination that everybody comes to South Africa to pretty much see in addition to other locations but if you're in a situation where you have people who are on water restrictions how does that play out in in terms of tourism tourism is what brings the money to a lot of these destinations you know you get an influx of visitors who who come and 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 buy things and participate in the local economy and so when people can't come and you know take a bath or <laughs> or wash themselves as they need to it, it's it's a little bit of a challenge you know it's flushing the toilet you think about all of the things that that's needed uh, when we, when it comes to basic water and um, from following the story I, I know because I've heard that there are some hotel owners that are really concerned about how this is going to impact their business in Cape Town uh, which is usually I'm sure pretty good so with that being said uh, I want you guys to go by the BBC News uh, they pl they placed this article up take a look at the story uh, dive deeper as I said we'll definitely be paying attention to it we are um, going to drop our trip to Cape Town uh, within the next I would say probably within the next month with details and destination locations and itinerary and all of that uh, and so uh, stay tuned and thank you for listening to this story.